Hey guys, it's TFNut. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another action figure review. Well, really a vehicle for an action figure. This is going to be of the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Bat Cycle from the brand new Flash movie line. Just really quick, want to say I don't own the Ben Affleck Batman that was just released for this line, basically for this Bat, uh, Bat Cycle as well. I do have the Batmobile coming, but Amazon had kind of screwed the pooch on that, and I don't know when exactly I'm going to get mine. I only wanted to get the vehicles, to be honest, the rest of the figures didn't look that good to me. So if you were hoping to see that particular Batman figure with this Bat Cycle, I unfortunately will not be doing that in this review. I would recommend maybe checking out another review. I will bring out the White Knight Bat Cycle from McFarlane Toys to give a little bit of a comparison though, and I'll have a couple other Batman figures for you guys to see. But this was a really cool looking bat, uh, bat cycle. I think that could fit with a lot of different Batman figures. This box here is pretty much a standard wide box version of what they usually do for the DC Multiverse line. It says the Flash pretty much everywhere and the DC Multiverse logo as well. And all, uh, inside the packaging too, it has the standard like blue panels for comics and all that. And you know, just give me a quick 360 overall what this packaging looks like. You can see the the uh, bat cycle in there as well and that uh, collectible card and there was an illustration on the back as well that was pretty cool okay looking at it outside of the packaging here as you can see i think this is really nice to be honest i might like the white knight version a little bit more i don't have any of the uh 2022 batman stuff unfortunately none of those vehicles but this one here is pretty good looking i think it looks better than the white knight version but i think I just like it features on the white knight a little bit more but this is still really nice 25 to 30 bucks i believe might be a little bit steep but still really good let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features on this thing and we'll compare it to some figures later first things first this collectible card that was basically the back illustration of the packaging with uh, and it's an illustration of batman that does not look like ben affleck at all it's a very cartoony illustration but it's not bad just reading up here if you want to read up on what the bat cycle is a lot of you know what it is by now it's just a but it says data file right there. DC Multiverse there as well. Not much going on there. So here is the Bat Cycle. And I do apologize for this weird part of the desk sticking out there. Bat Cycle here, though, man, I'm really digging a lot of the detailing. This is an autofocus review, unfortunately, I think. First of all, at just at first glance, the detailing on here is really good. Once you zoom in a little bit, there starts to be a little bit of some plasticky parts. I don't think there's a word, but mostly like right here. Some of those could use a little bit better detailing. It seems like they added a little bit of wear and tear in the paint to make it look like it's a little bit more metallic and a little bit banged up. I think maybe some actual detailing of some scratches could have been a little bit more uh, welcoming, I guess is the term I'm gonna use. But on the top here, I think it also looks really good. I'm not even going to pretend to act like I know different parts of a motorcycle. I don't own one. Uh, also, a lot of people don't own a motorcycle like this, of course. So, you know, I'm not exactly sure what the exact parts are. But the top here, it does have a little bit of like a... I don't want to say a dry brushing, but definitely some brushing going on here. And I think it looks good still. You can see even like the part here that kind of makes like a, di or a triangle shape. The way it looks a little bit worn down that's really nice so the overall molding of this is really good handlebars good inner workings around like i guess this would be like could this be a gun i guess it looks like it uh so i'm gonna assume well i'm not gonna assume but it just kind of looks like that some parts look a, i don't know if they look translucent or it's just the lighting here to me some parts look a tiny bit translucent mostly around here uh as if it's like a clearer plastic you can't really tell that much and it's just something i was noticing it's not really a big deal let's look on the other side i believe this is going to be a symmetrical sculpt so what you see on one side is basically what you see on the other side pretty sure super clean. the only difference is the, the big holes here which i know why they're here they're for the screws there's really no way to get around that kind of wish there was a way in the future they could do away with it but because they have to do it, I'm not going to knock it too much. Again, pretty good dry brushing on here. And what you know, molded parts are on here and sculpting is really good. This looks like an engine piece with a giant like turbine almost. That is insane going in there. It's kind of hard to see because the lighting and it's just being covered by a lot of the plastic. But that is a really sick looking engine piece. 
if that's what that's supposed to be. So the seat right here, it does look like it's supposed to have like leather detail on there, if I can focus. Um, and I think maybe a little bit of some paint, like a, maybe like a little bit of, uh, I don't know, maybe a black or even like dark gray on there would bring those details out a little bit, but it's still pretty detailed there, looking really nice. Whatever the back of this is supposed to be here, it actually has some wiring sculpted in there. That's really sick too. Um, I can't tell what else is supposed to be. Again, I got no idea what is what on this thing because it's a, you know, it's a non-realistic motorcycle. I'm looking around. I guess this is where the feet would go too. Maybe wedge the feet in between somewhere. Uh, I'll talk about the wheels in a second. I'm looking around and I feel like there should be like a feature or something. Like with the white knight, you can pull a piece out. I feel like like something should at least go up and down a little bit for uh, like a suspension almost. But none of that really happens with this piece here. I don't know what's going on if these are like vents or divots or something, but that's looking pretty good too. I'm just kind of letting you guys look at it because I just don't know what certain things are called. But, you know, not bad looking. I can show you the bottom too. There really isn't much going on here these pieces here i'm not really sure what the purpose is again actually i don't even know if that's supposed to actually be on this motorcycle in the movie but i think they have it here so uh i actually really don't know what i thought there was supposed to be a stand with this i think the the batman stuff those had stands because they kind of couldn't stand on their own but this thing here set it down you got no problem with it standing like that the wheels are huge I think they were pretty thin on the um, the Batman stuff. So uh, it's kind of hard to say it uh, twice. <laughs> but uh, speaking of the wheels, not only is there really good detailing, I guess there could be a little bit better paint though, like around here. Uh, but the actual, you know, they spin of course, and they're like this rubbery type of material. Very similar to what we get usually with the McFarlane toys uh motorcycles and they spin really well there's no problem there this one here on the back you can kind of see this kind of reminds me of like a tron cycle you guys remember those from like tron legacy and all that uh this cycle or uh this wheel here is not as large but it doesn't have any problems with stabilization this one it seems like this back wheel doesn't want to turn that much but this wants to turn and wants to spin pretty well i so i'm digging that and that's not really a complaint that this thing won't spin that much. As long as it can actually spin just as well as this one. I don't care how long this goes. All you gotta do, go straight. Now, unfortunately, well, I don't really know, unfortunately. This feature would have been nice, but I guess it would have been hard. There's a hair stuck in there. So I'm like, ew. Uh, these pieces, you know, the handlebars kind of want to turn. I don't know. I guess it does not look like the way this is designed that this should be turning though. So I guess it makes sense that they're stuck in this position. How are you supposed to turn in this thing though? This thing is like, <laughs> you can just go straight really. If there was a way to make it, the movie hasn't been out yet. So we don't know if this can actually turn, but this piece in the way will not help with that. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of talking <laughs> at this point of what features maybe could have been done. Um, it's just a really nice looking motorcycle, of course, that does have spinning wheels, but that's really all it has going for it. If you wanted maybe another feature, maybe like if these are supposed to be guns, blast effects, I guess, uh, then that would have been cool if they included that, but it's really just a motorcycle. But if you're fine with just the though motorcycle here, which honestly I kind of am here, I will have to see what it looks like with my Batmans, but this is a pretty good option. So let me take a quick look at how this looks with the White Knight version. So with the collapsed part here on the White Knight cycle, you can see that they're about the same size. Issues that I was having with the wheels, not really issues, but just things I was talking about with the wheels of how they don't turn. It's the same thing with the White Knight cycle. So I can't really blame this one for not doing that when this doesn't. I think what makes me just like the White Cycle one a little bit more, which probably isn't fair because this is supposed to do that, I believe, based on the comic run. Um, I'm not super familiar with it. But this extends out, which it looks really nice. Unless, you know, they just did this. I, I do not remember if this is how it's supposed to be or if Todd just decided to do this to make it fit better um, in the packaging. But the fact that they can do this, 
I think is still really nice. Of course, this is going to be, when you extend this out, this is going to be longer than this one. I think another thing that's tripping, you know, making me a little worried to, about liking this one, I guess I can say that, is that I know a good number of my Batman figures, even like my Mezco one, is going to look good on this. I don't know what it's going to look like on this yet. Either way, though, you know, this isn't much longer than this. The length isn't really a concern. It's just something I wanted to mention there. And I know you're not going to get the best example with the camera angle right now, because these things together not fitting in the uh, in the viewfinder all that well. You just collapse this though, and these will be about the same size. One thing that this new one has over this one, which it does have some paint, as you can see, in what would be the engine, and this also doesn't have tire suspension. It's just that the plastic is kind of, you know, a little bit actually kind of uh, flimsy here to where it makes it look like it does. But, you know, okay paint here but this one i do believe has the better paint there's more overall paint around here and on top and on the sides and i think the actual sculpting of some parts are a little bit better i just like how this engine is done here not that the white knight version has bad sculpting but i think for some people the white knight version just looks way too much like the white what you know like a particular run aka the white knight this thing works for the flash i feel like this kid maybe even it's not gonna be accurate but work for like an arkham batman and work for just other comic batmans in your collection so for a couple of batman size comparisons this is the brand new mcfarland toys hush batman the blue and gray version i would like to review this soon just haven't gotten around to it just got this over the weekend this here looks pretty good with the bat cycle i have to kind of bring the bat cycle on an angle to kind of make it all fit together here it might look a little bit too tall uh, the figure at least, but I do think, or at least I hope, this figure would be around the same height, maybe it's a little bit taller than a new Ben Affleck Batman, but this line scaling can be all over the place sometimes. It does have a few problems sitting on the actual bat cycle here. You can tell this is clearly made for one particular Batman, or at least maybe when it comes to the front toy stuff. So not only do we not have a soft goods cape with this Batman here, but his head really can't look up all that much and the soft plastic crotch piece gets in the way of moving the legs even more so it sitting on here looks a little bit weird this particular figure it's not really mcfarland's fault because this figure isn't really supposed to go with this bat cycle but it only has really one gripping hand that's the right hand and then the left hand is more of a posing type of hand that could kind of work as a gripping hand so you can kind of finagle it and make it work a little bit i don't think that this figure looks that bad on the bat, uh, bat cycle actually but it's just really clearly not made for it. So I'm finally playing Arkham Knight for the first time almost halfway through the game. And this here is the McFarlane Toys Arkham Knight Batman. Personally, a figure I don't love. I just have some problems personally with it. But it is pretty good looking. And I think this actually fits pretty well in scale too with this Bat Cycle. I think they can fit. I don't believe there's a Bat Cycle in the game at all. I know there's the Batmobile. Imagine a McFarlane Toys Arkham Knight Batmobile. That would be insane. But... I think that these two pieces here can work pretty well. And this particular Batman here does come with gripping hands, both gripping hands. So you can actually make this sit on here pretty well and grab the handlebars. And I think it sits on here pretty well compared to the Hush Batman. You actually push the legs forward a little bit more so it looks more natural. The feet can kind of interlock onto where the feet are supposed to go too. Now the hands, the gripping hands here are a harder plastic. So it's a little bit harder to actually insert and grab the handlebars. But, you know, it actually does look pretty good on here. Not a perfect fit on here. The torso doesn't want to go through that much or go forward, I should say that much. But the head can go up just a little bit more than the Hush Batman. And it actually looks better for it, too. So, again, not a soft uh, goods cape here, unfortunately. That was kind of to be expected a couple years ago. I think they just started recently doing soft goods capes for some of the Batman figures. But this still looks pretty good on here. Last Batman figure I wanted to show off with this Bat Cycle is the Mezco 112 Collective Sovereign Knight Batman, which even though I don't love Mezco anymore, this is still a pretty amazing Batman figure. This particular figure looked pretty great with the White Knight version of the Bat Cycle when I did that review. Here though, I mean, of course, it's a seven inch scale vehicle with a six inch scale figure, but the Bat Cycle is rather big compared to it. Whereas the White Knight version fit pretty, maybe looked a little bit too big, but did still fit pretty well. Now from the front here with the cape covering the figure, it actually sits on here pretty well, at least it looks like it does. And it looks pretty natural. 
However, when we remove the cape, and it doesn't have bendy wire, so it's going to get in the way, unfortunately. But removing the cape, or moving it over, I should say, as you can see, it's not very natural looking. The chest is hugging uh, the front of that uh, motorcycle right there, or whatever the piece is supposed to be. The legs do not sit where they're supposed to at all. Uh, the arms are bent out way too much. The hands pretty much want to pop off every time I try, uh, almost every time I try to do this. It's like the only time I was able to actually make it work. So yeah, this is really not going to fit too well. Of course, again, if you cover the cape with the figure, it's going to look pretty good. But other times, it's just not really going to work. Maybe you can finagle it a little bit, but I think it's just going to be way too much trouble than just, you know, posing it with the Batman you're supposed to which is the new Ben Affleck Batman from a phone toy. Overall, I do like this bat cycle here. It's just that the fact that it doesn't really work with the rest of my collection, and I feel like there should be more features here, is really more of a me problem. I guess I had certain expectations for it and they just weren't met, but again, it's not necessarily McFarlane Toys' fault. It's just the fact that I thought this would work with some other Batmans, kind of like the White Knight version did. This really is meant for just that new Ben Affleck Batman. If you're gonna get that, you got no problems when you get this one here too. It's a really nice looking piece with really nice sculpting, pretty decent paint apps overall, the wheels spin with no problem, and it's just a really cool looking piece that you can have in your collection. Me personally, I'm probably gonna stick more with the White Knight version and sell this one off here, or just return it if I'm being honest. Uh, it's just not going to fit with some of the ones that I wanted to use. Or Batmans, I should say, that I wanted to use here. It's still a nice piece. It's about 30 bucks. 20 to 25 bucks is a, probably a better deal. Honestly, I would wait for a sale, if I'm being honest. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think about the figure, what you think about the review. Leave a like, share amongst your friends. Follow me on Instagram for more content over there. And I'll see you guys later.